Hey, it's Austin. I want to show you a 60-1 Turbonetics that we did a rebuild and upgrade on. It had this, the uh, gold back plate, so that means it's single ball bearing and big shaft. So I wasn't able to use this compressor housing, but normally I would in a turbo build like this. Basically the problem was that it cracked or something. I, I don't know what the previous person did to it, but I got cracked right here. I guess it was in a car wreck or something. I'm not really sure. And uh, all I used was the exhaust housing, and I made a 35R out of it. I'm not a fan of the single ball bearing. I actually think they probably cause more problems than they help. So basically for this build, I basically threw away the whole cartridge and I took the exhaust housing and I machined it out for a 35R, which it was already machined for the wheel. All I had to do was machine it for the bearing housing because the ball bearing bearing housings are different. And then of course I replaced the whole cartridge and I replaced the compressor housing because in this case this guy's compressor housing was ruined. So if you're looking to do a build like this or fix your Turbonetics 60-1 single ball bearing, you could always contact us for the parts or contact us for the service at TurboLabAmerica at Gmail. As for the ball bearing or for the rebuild kit for these, I can get like the seals and I can get uh, I can I can get the seals. I can't get the ball bearing uh, bearing yet. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, I, I can get the rear bearing, but other than that, I, I really don't like to rebuild these. I just think they're kind of worthless.